Welcome everyone to Devo's Weed Chronicles. I'm him, Devo. Welcome. Hey guys, if you ain't never been in here before, please hit that like button. Watch the video. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Then hit the bell. Check out some of our live panels. I can't be held responsible. Or maybe I can't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably because it's my channel. But hey, I hope everybody's doing fine today and everybody's in their groove and doing great, fine and grand, happy, medicated. <clears throat> Man, it's always 420 right here, baby. Well, you OGs know this. For you new Gs, smoke them if you got them. All right, guys. Today's story is about a guy that me and Upstate both know. I want to really get into this because it's kind of a long story. It's probably going to take two of my little segments here. But um, the guy, we'll call him uh, Keith Ock. He's a good friend of mine and uh, Upstate. Dude was a weed guru. Man, that's cat new ins and out of marijuana. Before we get too far in the story, he, he was in a bad car accident when he was younger. Uh, the truck that they were in, uh, I think, killed the guy driving it and rolled over and crushed his head. Well, he survived, but he had no motor skills. He had to walk with a cane, and he talked slur. He had a real slow speech, but he was very—he was a brilliant dude. Don't get me wrong. He might have sounded like he was a, you know, he wasn't all air drunk or whatever, but the cat was brilliant and sharp, too. Anyway, one night he called me. He said, hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Wishing I had a joint. What are you doing? Smoking a joint. Really? Can I smoke? Come over? Yeah, man. Uh, I got a proposition. Uh, you got your car running? You know I don't have my car running, man. Can you get your dad's truck? No. Why? What do you got going on, bro? Make some money, man. I'll be over. I took off. Pulled up in his yard on my motorcycle. He, walk, he walks out. He sees me and my bike. He turns right around and walks back. I said, whoa, 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 Keith, come here, man, come here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. I said, it's this or nothing. Man. I'm like, look, dude, if the cops get interest, I showed him this little trick I had on my bike. See, I had my bike rigged up for, I rode around at night. I hung out the lake quite a bit growing up and stuff. So I had my bike rigged for, I had a switch on it where I could switch that thing off and every light on it would die and phew, get away from the cops, right? Or give me time to dump whatever I need to dump. What are my old gangster tricks? So anyway, I said, man, I got this there going for us, man. Plus, you know, I got a full tank of gas, man. Got her tuned up, waxed up, you know, and this and that. And he's like, all right, well, look, man, we got to go up around by the lake, man. I'm like, Really? And uh, around where we live, man, around the lake, it's like a mini dragon tail. For those of you who don't know what a dragon's tail is, it's a real curvy road, baby. I mean, a curvy road. Uh, it's famous. There's one famous somewhere, a biker trail. I can't remember, man, where it's at exactly right now. I will probably later, but we get to hit the dragon trail. Hell yeah, man. Okay, man, let's go. So we had to stop off some places. Well, we're cruising, and uh, the first place, first, first stop. You know, and this took quite a bunch of convincing on my part to get him to climb on his bike, right? And he wouldn't hold me. He'd hold the rail, you know, and I'm like, all right, man, so here we go. We go to the first place, and it's all uphill, man. It's like a lighthouse-looking thing, you know, because you can imagine we you go up this big hill off of the curvy trail. So we get up to the top, and we get almost there, and uh, I know where we're going. I've been up there before. I get up there, and there's a certain spot, man, where I'll go, um, you know, just give it just a little bit of fuel and just, you know, give it a little rise. We're not going very fast, man, you know. All of a sudden, I goosed it, man, and I giggle. We pull and pull up, man, not even 100 feet to the guy's house. Killed by him. like, all right, but, oh, man. I turn around and go back. He's laying right in the middle of the road where he fell off on his backpack like this with his eyes closed. I kill the bike. I go, oh, dude, Keith, are you all right, man? He opens his eyes. He's like, you effort, and starts swinging at me. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I'd dust him off, man, you know. 
I didn't do that on purpose. I told you to hang on to me, man. Oh, you caught me off guard, dude. You caught me off guard. I was picking my nose. All right, man, whatever. <laughs> I got him back whenever we go to the house. We do our deal. We leave. Here we go. We'll go back. He earlier that day had bought a Chinese sun hat, you know, the knitted or web, what do you call that stuff? Wicker, whatever, with the string. Well, he had it around his neck and had it over his shoulder cruising. Why I say that, that'll be here in a second. We'll go to the next house. We pull up in the guy's yard and it was, oh, I guess 1130. He said, man, and I knew this guy too. He's like, man, uh, my backpack fell off. Dude, what? I, I, my backpack fell off. Man, how? <clears throat> we start to bike. We turn around. We go back. And we're looking. Sure enough, there it is laying right in the middle of the road, man. He grabs his backpack. We get back on the bike. Boom, we go back down to this guy's house. He goes, we do our business and everything. Here he is. He's got, you know, a few hundred dollars in cash, right? Wadded up in one deal. In, in hundreds, and he had like a 20s, and then he had 10s, you know, because anywhere on the way, if we seen somebody want a nickel, pff, man, we'd sell them a $5 worth right there on the spot, man, you know, a pound to a nickel, that we're, we're in it for the money, so anyway, we're cruising around, and we go to that guy's house, and he's doing, we get to, he gets his money situated and everything, and I'm standing outside, and we're talking, he's like, man, you going to so-and-so's, and, and he goes, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, man, I'm just driving, I don't know where we're going. He's laughing, you know, so he gets back on. And I make sure he's got his weed on there. I make sure he's secure. We're, boom, boom, here we go. We take off. We we go to this one guy's house. I've never been to this dude's house before. And he's like, man, you need to stay out here. Let me go in and do this business. We'll come out and then, you know, we'll go on and uh, we'll go to the house, man. All right, all right, go do what you need to do. So he gets out. And you know, he, he has this walking stick, right? He's walking through there. And all you can see is a faint light down a down a pathway, a gate. He goes through the gate, shuts it. He walks down this faint light, you know, pathway, these little things that are in the ground. <clears throat> and then a porch light comes on. And about halfway through there, I'm sitting there smoking a joint, you know, looking around, you know, just chilling. Out of nowhere, he's walking down the sidewalk like this. A great day, about half grown. Wham! I mean, takes him out like a linebacker. All I hear is, get off me, Smokey. Crack, crack, crack. Get off. And that dog, that dog's tail just wagging and, I mean, his tongue's that wide. He's just licking the far out of it. Owner comes out. They separate the dog. I'm out there laughing. I meet this guy. He's pretty cool. We get all loaded up and everything. He's like, man, I can't believe you're on that Eagles. Man, I want to go home. This ain't been nothing but crap all night. This has been bull crap, man. I lost my money. I lost my weed. Man, he throwed me off this bike. And he goes, what? He goes, I'm oh, man, it's a long story. Anyway, we climb back on there. We take off. We're going, man. Even we're going home. We're almost there. The hat that he had on, that expensive uh, wicker hat that he bought, we're going across the bridge. And all of a sudden, I hear, oh! And I look, that hat goes over the bridge, man, into the Arkansas River. See ya! Man, it kept a great evening, man. I had a blast. I miss Okita. I really do. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening to these stories. Man, hit that like and subscribe, please. What was that? Remember, God bless. Look up, not down. And until next time, guys. Keep smoking.